You ready to stack it fast? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. So you want to start stacking fast, huh? <laughs> well, I'm going to give you some tips on how to, you know, make sure that you are stacking as fast and as efficiently as possible. But before I go there, I have to tell you something important. <laughs> I don't want this video to make you do anything that you shouldn't. I call that panic stacking. I actually did a video on it right up there. So please don't go into debt or if you are in debt, don't stay in high credit card interest uh, debt. Don't blow your budget. Please don't let the current market mayhem that we're experiencing right now cause you to do anything stupid because you're panicking. All right. The last thing you want to do <laughs> is to buy too much too fast and end up having to sell your stack or part of your stack because of um, hardship. All right. So I've, I've seen it happen in our community and it breaks my heart when it does. So please don't let this video uh, make you do anything you shouldn't. But if you are new to stacking, uh, maybe you're going to want to play some catch up. You have funds, right? Uh, you want to maximize your silver purchases. You want to stack fast, all right? I'm going to give you some tips. The first one is right before you. <laughs> it's constitutional silver. And I love constitutional silver. It's one of my favorite things to stack. Um, you can get great deals on junk silver, as it's also known as. And you really should stick with whatever's on sale. All right, big bullion dealers periodically have to get rid of some excess stock, okay? And and they come up with amazing deals. And that's really a fast way to stack. You know, when I was a kid, I stacked um, dimes. <laughs> um, Roosevelt dimes, here's one. Or rosies, as they're sometimes called. You know, nothing special in terms of quality or, you know, date. This is a 1960 Roosevelt dime. It's a great thing to stack. Quarters also. Wonderful to stack. George, come on out. <laughs> it's a 1941. It's somewhere on it. But really, constitutional silver. And I'm going to be going nuts soon on uh, half dollars. Kennedy, um, Benjamin Franklin's. You can tell sometimes too. If they are uh, silver by the edges right here, you don't see any copper clad there. This is a great way to stack fast. You can get a lot of silver. These are 90% um, silver constitutional coins. And yeah, there's a 35% nickel hiding in there, but mostly 90%. This is a great way to stack fast. You can get rolls of this stuff for little over spot and also check out your local coin shop let them know that you are going to be focusing on constitutional silver in fact that leads me to the second way to stack fast and that is to build a relationship with your local coin shop dealer i hope you have one uh, i know there are people out there that 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 don't um they live too far away from uh, a local coin shop or, um, you know, they, they, they can't get to one. I, I get that. But um, a local coin shop is a great way to stack fast. You talk with him or her. You tell them what it is that you're trying to do. Tell them you're a stacker, okay? Not a numismatist, not someone who's looking for a particular uh, date or a certain type of coin. If you really want to stack fast, you need to let them know. I want to stack fast, all right? I'm going to come back to your coin shop. I'm going to give you as much as my, of my business as I can. A local coin shop dealer loves to hear that. That is music to his ears, all right? And if you, you let them know that you're going to be focusing on constitutional silver, 
I'm doing that with Tim, my local coin shop dealer. I've tried hard to build a relationship with him so that he knows what I'm after. He puts stuff aside. And if you buy in bulk, all right, if you if you are stacking hard and you really want to do it quickly, I'm telling you, they're, they're going to give you deals, all right? They're, you're going to be a consistent purchaser. That is going to make a big difference in the speed of your stacking. Um, so, and that applies with constitutional as well as government minted bullion. All right. So right here, I've got a stack of American silver eagles. This one is of a very particular date a 1986. That was the first year that the U S government minted the American silver eagle. This is not, okay, how to stack fast. Don't be looking for these dates. Don't look for dates that range from 1986 to 2001. Why? Because you're going to be paying a higher premium for these. You're going to get less silver at a slower rate, okay? You don't want... The 1986. You don't want to be focusing on key dates with a higher premium. You want newer American silver eagles. 2019, 2018s, look for those. Try to get um, as many of those as you can. Tell your local coin shop dealer you will buy them tube at a time. Now, if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I love cull or circulated American silver eagles. It comprises uh, close to half of my monster box, all right? Now, the reason I did that was to get them as close to spot as possible, sometimes even at spot. Tim gave me some great deals on my quest for a full monster box, but circulated or cull, meaning, you know, not perfect. That's why you can kind of handle them. It's not like, oh, oh no, you're going to scratch them. These guys are scratched, okay? They are worn. They have been cleaned. Um, yes, they are somewhat of a key date, all right? So I don't chuck them across the room. But at the same time, I'm going to handle them because I got them primarily because I got them cheap, all right? I even got this 1986 relatively cheaply too. But you can't stack these things fast, all right? Not circulated, not cull. Unfortunately, I had a bear of a time trying to beat Silver Dragons on our Monster Box race, and I had to succumb to Brilliant Uncirculated. Why? Because they were more available. I cleaned Tim out of circulated and or cull American Silver Eagles. That's at a local coin shop. If you have the opportunity of buying them at a bullion dealer, you can get more silver for your money by buying circulated or call American Silver Eagles or other government minted bullion. Focus on constitutional silver, American Silver Eagles. Work with your local coin shop to let them know that you're going to be doing it fast. And it doesn't always have to be a big bullion company or even your local coin shop uh, that you use to buy silver. Check out LetGo, uh, OfferUp, uh, Facebook Marketplace, all those social media buying options. They're really uh, a great way to find people who are in need of cash. Maybe they picked up Gramps' old you know, tube of silver and they want to get rid of it. I mean, obviously, don't take advantage of them, but you can get great deals because people don't really care. They want the cash. They don't want metal. So, again, check those out. I use them, especially for constitutional, but I have gotten um, American Silver Eagles. Um, I've gotten other types of silver from those uh, apps as well, and they're fantastic. All right, so let's talk about another way that you can stack fast. And... <laughs> Oh, man, people are going to go, wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to say it. Bars. <laughs> That's right. Now, I, I don't buy uh, silver bars that often. In fact, rarely do I go down these uh, th this avenue, right? This is not the way I like to stack, only because 
Um, I like to focus on constitutional government minted bullion and gold. But if you really want to stack fast, if you want to speed up your stacking, you know, going with bars, especially larger bars, I'm not talking poured, um, you know, art bars. I love those too, especially from people that uh, uh, mean a lot to me. <laughs> Here's a, an art bar from Salivate Metal, high premium silver, I might add right there, but oh man, he's fantastic. Silver Dragons, I mean, wow, right? <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh man, I even got uh, I even got his second bar he ever poured. I mean, th these are special because of who uh, they represent in our community. This is not the way to stack fast, all right? <laughs> they aren't. Just don't do it this way. I mean, you can have fun. Buy some of these channel rounds or channel bars. It's a lot of fun. But back to bars. If you are going to stack fast, all right, and you and you, you know, you're not stacking the Yankee way per se, right? Which is, you know, trying to uh, stack recognizable, highly trusted, um, precious metals. You can't go wrong stacking large bars. All right. That, that's going to get your stack up in weight real fast. So check out bars, check out, um, you know, government minted bullion. Maybe you can get deals on foreign silver. Now I don't do a lot of foreign silver, but, uh, and, and a lot of this stuff is from my grandfather, but you can get, let's just show you a few of these. You can get silver from other countries like uh, this one. I got from somebody in the community. Look at that. Beatrix, Netherlands. This is 80% silver, I believe. And, you know, th this is relatively cheap. You can get rounds quite cheaply at uh, the local coin shop again. Maybe there is a um, bargain basket. I know Tim has one. Um, and a lot of the times... What is really awesome today and highly sought after five to 10 years from now will just be sold for melt or sold for very little premium. That's another way you can stack fast. Now I've been focusing more on the types of silver that can help you stack fast, but it's also about priorities, okay? This is, this is the mental, uh, emotional aspect of stacking fast. You know, when you have a goal, when you have focus, and that focus is encouraged by, I don't know, maybe a competitive uh, spirit or someone helping you, that can really help you stack fast. It's not, again, about stacking in an irresponsible way or, um, you know, using funds that you shouldn't. No, it's about sacrificing in ways that maybe you haven't um, done already. Uh, maybe... <laughs> you need to cut out bad habits. Um, I won't mention specifics, but you have other habits that are not healthy or don't make good economic sense. Cut them out and show discipline because when you free up money like that, you can stack so quickly. I've known a few people in our wonderful community that have done just that. They stopped things that have been good for their health, good for their families, and freed up funds to stack and do it quickly. Now, the last tip that I wanted to give on stacking fast is very similar to what I mentioned about let go and offer up and, you know, Facebook marketplace. That is to sell your stuff and use the proceeds to buy more silver. <laughs> Guys, when I was in that race, with Silver Dragons. One of the ways that I jacked up my uh, stacking speed was I sold all kinds of stuff on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. I was selling things that I didn't even know I had, <laughs> okay? I went back and looked at things like old electronics. Um, I sold a, an old pool, um, sold an old canoe. I, I mean, you, you name it, I was selling stuff like crazy. Oh my word, use some of that proceed to buy silver. This is a great time to buy silver and you can stack it fast if you sell some stuff you don't need. Well, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, please like, and if you have other tips 
on how to stack fast, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Shoot, we'd all love to read them and learn together. So thanks again for watching Yankee Stacking, and I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.